Hey, my Cancer Babies, this is EJ from Toronto Tarot. I hope you guys are having a good start to your week. I hope you're also having a good start to your month of June. This is your Dig Deeper Love Reading Cancer for the month of June. So we do three for the recent past, three for current energy, and three for future energy. We'll pull three for guidance from the universe, and I'll pull two cards, which is a new thing now for Tarot of Tarot. We don't just pull one, we pull two for overall energy. I will clarify as needed, see below for all the tarot decks that I have. I got some new ones for my birthday, yay. Um, thank you so much for all the likes, shares, and subscribes. Got that out. And do a couple more shuffles, cancer. What's going on with y'all? Y'all seem like kind of thought, thoughtful and reflective in, in hermit mode. Kind of. <clears throat> That's the feeling I get. Y'all ain't really trying to rush around and do nothing. Yeah. See what we got going on here, And this is a reminder. I do my cards straight up. I don't do reversals. All right. So the bottom of the deck. We got the strength card, and we also have Miss Manners. I promise you the Queen of Swords will make herself known somewhere in this reading. Um, but I'm not surprised to see the strength card there, really not. So for your recent past, Three of Wands, Princess of Cups, and Ten of Wands for current energy. Four Cups, your Centerpiece card and your Challenge, the Star card, no oh, shit, <laughs> and you got a Tower card, oh, I don't like seeing that, Two of Wands, the Nine of Swords, oh boy, <laughs> and the Three of Swords, I'm sorry Cancer, oh, okay, I'm sorry, fuck, I hate delivering fucking bad news, okay. So I'm feeling first. Let, let me just clarify this tower, because I, I just, I need to know. I just need to know. Before I do or say anything else, let me just clarify this damn tower. I think I know, but I'm just not trying to even say it yet. Hold on. This is from uh, the TV series Tarot Deck, which I, I, is actually very good, even though my old butt don't know half the shows. There's some I do know on here, but the, the imagery and the energy is so strong off these bad boys, it doesn't really matter what TV show, you just forget it. So let's see what this tower is about. Yeah, you're going to have ultimate, <clears throat> this is the strength card. This is uh, the nine of wands in this deck. But this particular card talks about strength and final success. But damn, <laughs> y'all done tore up some shit. What the hell? All right, I'm going to pull that one over. Yeah, okay, I, I see why you got the strength card, and I see why y'all are really not just trying to rush around with shit, because y'all are pissed off. So y'all don't have anything else on your mind at this point, Cancer, but what the hell is going on in your relationship? So this is not going to resonate with everybody. Get that out the way. Um, from your recent past, let me say this, Cancer, you may be, you could be dealing with anybody, but the energy that's popping at me right now is <clears throat> the wands and the swords. So, well, it's only one sword, two, two swords, three swords on here. It's either a fire sign with a lot of air or air sign with a lot of fire. Or it could be anybody with either one of those in their natal chart. Let's let's say that. But it's strong. This fire energy is strong. This air energy is strong. I, it, it just is. I can just feel it. Um, coming out of the recent past. And, and, and that you got the three of swords down here. It just kind of confirms for me there was some extracurricular activity going on somewhere. And it seems like cancer, because this is your cup. <clears throat> I'm sorry, this is your card. It's a cup card about the water. And it seems like you kind of knew, but you kind of didn't know. But in order to protect yourself, you kind of just threw up some emotional blocks 
so you at least put some space between how you were feeling and what you were dealing with. With the Ten of Wands, the only thing it could have mean in this reading, stress. You just stressed, or you were stressed the fuck out. Um, it seems like out of this recent past energy, you kind of got your footing or at least recognize the strength that you had in the situation, because this is your overall energy here. Um, and you, you tried to rein some of this in. I don't, I have a feeling that, um, okay, let me say it the way I was going to say it. I don't think a lot of you really know exactly what's going on, but you're going to find out in the future. You, that, that I see very clear. You're going to find that out in the future. Recent past, you just unsure, you know something was happening, but you, you weren't sure. To our current energy with the Four of Cups, whomever this is that you're dealing with, we want to just put you on the bottom. Whoever that is up there in the cup is bored, and they're trying to figure out if the grass is looking greener on the other side, which brings us to your hopes, wishes, and dreams right here. Also talks about this card is also if we had it like this in the reverse position it also talks about complacency. Your challenge here, Cancer, is to get real about your hopes, wishes, wishes, and dreams. Are you being realistic about your expectations of this person that you seem to think or you seem to have thought at one point was all this in a six pack? I know now you're beginning to feel like they're not even a half a glass of milk, much less a six pack of anything. But this is your challenge to get your hopes, wishes, and dreams in alignment with what's really going on and what the, what's, what's real, what can really be manifested at this point. For some of you, it feels like you have an emotional block, like you've been hurt so many times before and you, you are beginning to see some telltale signs of something going on here. Um, you've got a tower moment coming up. And this is real deal. This is going to shake your shit up. If it hasn't happened already, it's coming. Um, and this is between you and your partner. You, Whatever the fuck is going to be whatever the fuck. You're going to find out some shit and some folks going to find out some shit. I pulled this card because when the tower, a lot of times, in, in, in more recent readings that I've done, the tower has come up and it's just been about shaking loose the bullshit so you can get down to the core of some shit. In this reading, this is definitely, it's full meaning, towel, toe up shit, you, emotionally especially cancer, because that's kind of where y'all thrive. You and Pisces and Scorpio, y'all kind of run the spectrum of emotions, if you will, and how we process emotions. I know this because I have Pisces in my chart, in my natal chart, it's my, uh, it's my moon sign, and that's how I process my emotions. So I understand where you're coming from. But it seems like in this situation, it didn't take long for you to start throwing up blocks. It's like a, a boxer with somebody in a fight. You're just putting your arms up and blocking blows. And you, it feels like you weren't really sure if you should even be acting like that because in your head, you were trying to wonder if you were just bringing old shit to the table or if you were really seeing what you're seeing. I'm just here to tell you, you're really seeing what you're seeing, and I'm sorry, cancer, it's all fucked up and shit, but it is what it is. Um, try to try to get your stride. I know that sounds fucked up. What do you mean get your stride? When this shit happens, just, just try to find your groove in all of this, because with shakeup comes change, also comes opportunity. Opportunity to, to find someone better, opportunity to be better, opportunity to get better. I'm just saying, there's an opportunity there. So do, you really are gonna have to do a tremendous job of shifting your focus away from the pain and shifting it forward so you can move forward. I have a feeling some of y'all are gonna get stuck right here for a minute and it's gonna take you a minute to get out of that. And I think if you just see the situation for what it is and the circumstances for what they are, know that you're going to have some success at some point and just do what you need to do to get out of this situation, it will go a lot smoother. If you fight it, if you want to get all pissy, you're cheating on me, blah, 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 blah. It's going to be that much longer it takes for you to get to a point to heal. So the path faster you can get through this, 
and get, get your stride and just be like, fuck it. That's your shit. Because this is what it is. This person, if all of this comes out, that their secrets, is their infidelity, somebody's been cheating on you and trying to lie to your face and tell you it's raining and it's really snowing outside, some other bullshit. That's all on them, Cancer. That's not on you. If you're not lying and hiding and bullshitting around, how can it be on you? This is definitely on the other person. So don't do what you do a lot of the time, which is internalize all this bullshit and end up sitting in the middle of the floor like, oh my God, I can't, uh-uh. This ain't that kind of party. Obviously, you take a lesson out of the blessing and you move forward, but don't get stuck here. This is not the end of the world. And probably when you get right down to it, somebody you probably really shouldn't have been with as long as you were for those of you that rolled out <clears throat> the relationship will pass its due date. Um, and for others of you that just kind of ignored and turned a blind eye to it, for those of you that this may be a newer relationship, same thing goes for you. There were probably some red flags on the wall. You just didn't want to pay attention to them. But however, look at that strength card. Y'all got the strength to get through this. And that's what I'm telling you. Get your stride. Get your stride. Be like, fuck it. Okay, you know what? You're a dumbass. Goodbye. Because you know, you got some final success coming at some point. It may not be right now. Sometimes, you know, it's like I say, get ready for the birthday party. You got to tear up the whole damn house because you got people coming over. That's what it is. So sometimes you need this kind of energy not only to shake loose, but to open pathways. Just saying, if, especially if you've been emotionally blocking and, and not really letting your full emotions out in an expressive way, and I don't mean arguing and fighting, but I mean you're able to sit down and talk to your partner about your hopes, your wishes, and your dreams and shit, where you had just that block where you haven't felt like you could be on this level with that person, bye. Let them go. If they can't give you what you need, why spend an additional minute trying to prove a fucking point that's going to be useless anyway? Let it go. Let the tower happen. And clarify for nothing. Get that final success. Think about it. Start manifesting what you want out of all of this because you've got the strength that's what this is and you will have the final success and this, whoever this is will be gone and you'll be doing something else future energy you got to get back to the drawing board you got to get back to the drawing board and you've got to get to that energy that's right at the beginning of manifesting something back to the drawing board with that <clears throat> the ex whoever this ex is they still gonna have you up at night because they, they've done some shit and they're doing some shit that's just gonna really just blindside you. And I believe and I feel that it's blindsiding you because you just really didn't think this was gonna go there even though you were blocking shit you saw coming, but you really were hoping this wasn't what, it, what you really thought it was. It really is. And this person is keeping you up at night. At the end of all of it, that's what you hear. Jealousy, regret, and cheating. Sorry, they can throw that out there. But that, that will be at the end of all of this, and this will, I'm sure, put the nail in the coffin on this relationship. There's no, um, I don't feel like there's any returning or recycling energy where this person is trying to come back. Once this shit is over with, it'll be done with. <coughs> um, you, I'm sure you're not trying to go back to anybody that's acting this childish and this foolish. Um, like I said, take it in stride. Take it in stride. And I told you she'd make herself known. When you get done with all of this, it's time to start coming up with some new boundaries and some new rules. And I'm not talking about the one that says he's blind, blue-eyed, and six foot two, and just handsome as a little cupcake. I just, he's just so handsome. No, not those rules. The rules of you will not fuck over me. <laughs> you will not take me for granted. Those rules. And, and as you start putting a framework together for a new relationship, the things that you are willing to put up with and the things that you are not willing to put up with, don't back down. One more again. You got the strength card right there. So you've got the strength 
and the patience, by golly, to hold out for what it is you really want. I have a feeling a lot of you, this person that you're with now, you jumped in it because you felt like there was nothing else to jump into. So, that said, <clears throat> don't, ever, don't ever do that just because there's nothing else. Something else is always coming. That's the cycle of life. The pendulum never swings more to the right than it does to the left. So, just because you're going through a slow period or you're breaking up with somebody right this minute does not mean the next person is not on their way. But if you get caught up, and that's what I was telling you before, if you get caught up in this energy right here, about, oh my word, it's falling apart. Yeah, it's falling apart so you come together. I'm just saying. That's what it is. You do some shit, you, you have to break a dish sometimes just to realize you need to go get some new fucking dishes. It just is with just one of them things, one of the facts of life, Murphy's Law, whatever you want to call it. That's just how it is. And sometimes the universe will just throw shit right up in the middle of your shit. And you, while you're trying to act like it's not happening and blocking blows and doing other shit and got horse blinders on, the universe is like, fuck that. Let's just get to the meat and potatoes. This shit ain't working. Let's break it up. And that's what needs to happen, Cancer. This is all toxic shit. This is all toxic. You shutting down. This person dipping around and sneaking and uh, some some of these, the usual emotional infidelity on Facebook and chit-chatting and sexting and texting with somebody else. That bullshit right there. That's toxic. And again, this ain't on you, Cancer. Now, it could be, in some cases, it could be you, Cancer, that's doing the cheating and running around. I don't feel that, though. I feel like y'all are the ones that are getting the shaft in this. And looking at the damn fish in the boat going, I need to put some distance between that. I'm not real sure what's going on. And you're going to find it. For those of you that don't know fully yet, you will find out exactly what's going on. It may be a phone call. It may be a text message. Somebody may get somebody's phone, see your phone number in there. And this is male or female, however you want to mix it up. You're going to find something out. you either see a text message pop up on your partner's phone. You might see a strange car sitting somewhere. It could be a lot of different things. But you will know when it happens. That's what I'll say. And again, if you want to get your hopes, wishes, and dreams in alignment with what the, what, what the reality is, what you're capable of manifesting at this point, because some of you want, and this is, this is hard talk, but it's real talk. Some of y'all want the NBA basketball player, but are you capable of being a basketball player person? person? Can you be that girlfriend or that boyfriend to deal with that person? And sometimes, if that's really what you want, you have to go through this kind of shit and you have to go back and look at what do you really want? Is what I really want what I really need, even? You have to get to that point. And then from where you are, are you trying to manifest <laughs> uh, an Amazon-type billion-dollar business and you don't even have a business plan? I'm just saying, so you got to get your dreams in alignment with where you are. And if you aren't where you need to be to start manifesting some of the things, it's your challenge start right here. You, then you need to get there. Whatever it takes for you to get there. If you need to start journaling, if this relationship is, is going to pop off like this and break up and end up done, this is a good time to start over. Clear the slate. Come on now. <laughs> Get out your head, go to bed. Don't dwell on somebody else's stupid shit. Come up with your own shit. What you want to see in your relationship. And stand up in your own power, like you're doing. I know, and some of y'all are, are not dealing with this head on because you, you know what the end result is going to be. Universe is telling you, go ahead and let it happen. And quit fighting it and quit. Trying to act like, you know, oh, it's just, it's just, we just have a problem. No, you're not having a problem. She's about to fall off the, just the end of the world. It's done. So with that said, I'm going to pull three of these for guidance from the universe. Change it up here a little bit. Suffering in silence. Obstacles and challenges, movement, choices, and decisions. Cards don't lie, y'all. I don't care what you say. Cards do not lie. Tarot cards don't lie. I don't give a shit. Who else is lying? Cards don't. 
I don't need to have to speak on this because I just said this to you. Y'all don't want to, you know, you know some shit's going on, but you ain't going to say nothing. You ain't trying to make no waves, yah, yah, yah. Universe is telling you, stop that bullshit. Get up off that damn rock and move your ass. Move your ass and quit suffering in silence. If you're miserable, you know this person is cheating on you and doing some old stupid, funky shit. Roll out. Get in the water. Doggy paddle. Swim. Walk through it. Whatever you got to do. But move on. Don't suffer in silence. That's not needed. And it's not good for you. That makes a toxic. That makes you toxic. Because you're dealing with somebody else's bullshit. All you have to do, Cancer, is put one foot in front of the other. Yeah, there's a little gap there. But come on. Y'all can't make that? You're going to have obstacles and challenges. One more again. Sometimes you need this shit to shake you up. And, and you need to have a full-blown tower so you can get rid of all the crap that you're dealing with. So you can just be gone. And sometimes you need that big earthquake to suck up that big building that was blocking the view, hello, of the mountains. Work with me, people. So you can just walk. All you have to do is just, just walk. Yes, it's not going to be easy. Yes, you're probably going to miss this person if you actually love this person. It's going to hurt. But it's life. And if they cheated on you, if they did some old funky shit to you, you can't stay there because that's not good, it's not healthy, and it's not helpful to you. At the end, movement, choices, decisions. Come on. All of that is how you get that. That final victory. Movement, choices, decisions. It's just that simple. Cancer, I'm going to leave your reading there. I hope you guys have a good week. Stay strong through all this bullshit. I know you guys will be okay. I love you, and I will talk to you soon. Bye, y'all.